The number of drones in the sky is growing every day. In August 2016, the Federal Aviation Administration issued new rules in Part 107 of the Federal Aviation Regulations for small unmanned aircraft operations, from aerial photography to agriculture to disaster support. It's clear that the drone industry is taking flight, and like many new industries, there are some growing pains. The FAA says it's received more than 100 reports each month about inappropriate drone operations, unmanned aircraft flying where they shouldn't, including over crowds and near airports, putting lives, property, privacy, and security at risk. One solution proposed by lawmakers is to require drones be equipped with geofencing technology, software intended to keep unmanned aircraft from entering into designated no-fly zones. A geofence can be thought of as a three-dimensional electric fence to keep drones in and out of specific areas. Some commercial drones already have this technology as a first line of defense, but those systems aren't currently designed to meet the safety standards required for civil aircraft. Engineers at NASA's Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia, have developed a system to overcome the challenges with current geofences. NASA's system, called SafeGuard, has three key features that distinguish it from other geofences. SafeGuard is built on rigorous mathematics, so it can continually detect how close an aircraft is to the virtual fences around no-fly zones. Those boundary detection and alerting algorithms can operate independently of any onboard autopilot on practically any vehicle. And there are virtually no limits to the shapes, sizes, and numbers of boundaries. And the positioning system doesn't rely on GPS alone. Test flights on a variety of small drones have demonstrated how the technology works. To keep drones out of no-fly zones, Safeguard establishes three boundaries for each region. A hard boundary, which is the edge of the no-fly zone, a terminate boundary, and a warning boundary. These boundaries allow Safeguard to determine when actions are needed to prevent a vehicle from entering a no-fly zone, and hopefully we can allow it to continue its operations. The first boundary that a vehicle may encounter is the warning boundary. As can be seen in this test, when the system determines that the vehicle is getting too close to a no-fly zone, it sends a warning signal to the autopilot to take corrective action, which in this case forces the vehicle to essentially bounce off the boundary that it just hit and away from the no-fly zone. This can be observed for stay-in regions, stay-out regions, or altitude limits. An important feature of Safeguard is that the warning and terminate boundaries continuously change in size relative to the no-fly zone and based off of an estimation of the vehicle's current trajectory. This gives the vehicle ample time to take some sort of action. Essentially, we give the vehicle more time to react if it's traveling high and fast as opposed to if it's traveling lower and slower. This can be observed in the current tests as the vehicle responds at a further distance from the no-fly zone boundary as its speed and altitude increase. Now, it's also possible that an onboard failure has caused a vehicle to fly towards a no-fly zone. An example of this is an autopilot malfunction resulting in a flyaway. In this case, the vehicle will not respond to safeguards warnings and it will hit the terminate boundary. At this point, it is assumed that control of the vehicle has been lost, and with that, Safeguard issues a terminate signal to assure that it can't cross into a no-fly zone. In this case, the terminate signal cuts power to the motors. While steps are taken to avoid this action, flight termination is Safeguard's necessary final line of defense. Based on the vehicle's mission environment and risk tolerance, various other termination mechanisms can be employed. Plain and simple, the surge of drones in the skies raises concerns for the protection of the public's safety, security, and privacy. NASA recognizes this problem and is applying its world-renowned research legacy to develop a simple, minimally intrusive technology specifically designed to assure drones don't go where they shouldn't every time.